Hello everyone, welcome back to Eat Sleep Brief. So today we're going to be showing you how to take your dosing pump to the next level. Uh, not only does this apply to the low end dosing pump, this also applies to uh, the higher end dosing pump. So pretty much what I found out, there's pretty much two causes that causes dosing pumps to be very inaccurate. One is the silicone tubing we use to over time, um, the silicone gets expanded, thus drawing in air, thus with air is no liquid and causing your, your parameters and your doser not to be as accurate. Number two, the rollers in these dosers, they don't always create the seal. So depending on the setup you're running, how high or how low your lines are, it may create a siphon um, or will either draw it into the tank or draw it back into the container. So to solve that issue, what we've got is, excuse me, we have some check valves. Now guys, I know you guys are saying, well, I've used the other check valves out on the market, um, like the ones I'm showing here. Guys, I'm sorry to tell you, but those check valves, you should throw them away. Um, they're really not even meant for liquid, they're meant for air. Uh, these check valves here are a lot more accurate, they're a lot more long term. Um, personally, I actually have never used these check valves here in front of me. Um, the ones I use on my tank are the John Guest ones, which I'm going to have a link down in the description. Um, I tried these out, they look to work. Um, the only things are the John Guests are about five to six times more expensive than these are. Uh, so for you guys a little bit more on a budget is the reason why I ordered these to do the video on. Uh, but for you guys want something that's rock solid, go with the John Guest. Um, I also notice it, it, it takes a lot less suction for the John Guest to work than it does this one. But nonetheless, we're going to be showing you guys exactly how to do that. So stay tuned for a great video. So one of the f uh, few things you're going to need um, as far as equipment goes, and again, there's going to be links on all of this down below. Um, you're going to need some RO line. So obviously I got a small sample piece here to make it a little bit easier to, to see in the video. We're going to need some coral glue. Um, here in specific, I have the Polyp Lab Coral Glue. For you guys that didn't check out the, my video, this is a brand new product that was recently released. Uh, be sure to check it out. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be using some Coral Glue. And what you're going to need is also the little nipple that comes on pretty much all your doses. They all have a little nipple. So in essence, what we got to do, we got to figure out a way to convert uh, this setup to accept RO line. So then we can put really any type of fittings um, when it comes to RO, put any bulkheads, you know, anything of that sort. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab your RO line. Figure out whatever length you're gonna make it. Um, it's obviously always better to make it a little bit longer than shorter, um, but figure out, you know, what the length you want. Another thing that's very important, you wanna make a straight cut. You don't want an angled cut like this just because um, it's gonna hinder a little bit of the seal that we're gonna create. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna remove the little nipple um, that comes on your doser. So obviously this is made to accept um, silicone line. So we're going to want to remove that, have it in our hand just because it's a lot easier to work with. The next thing you're going to want to do is before you apply any glue to this surface, you want to make sure you dry fit it. What dry fitting will do, it'll allow this piece here to expand and make it a lot easier. So when you do put the glue over it, it accepts it a lot better. Now I've actually wondered throughout, uh, you know, the past few months, if you could actually install it like this. Now you can, and it, from my testing, it is airtight. But again, this video is to take our doser to the next level, right? We want to make them very accurate. Um, so really the only way to do that and the only way to guarantee that this eventually doesn't expand and allow air in is obviously to glue it. And for you guys worried about gluing this, you're like, oh, I'm going to mess it up. Guys, you can buy these little nipples right here on Amazon for literally dirt cheap, like cents on the dollar. So don't be worried about it. If you mess it up, you could always buy more. But the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to grab your coral glue. Who would have thought, huh? Coral glue is also good for this. But you're going to want to put it, you don't want to put it on the tip, obviously, because you're going to clog it. You want to put it just behind the tip. Now, you don't need to put it very low on the nipple. The reason why you don't have to put it very low is because when you squeeze a line over it, it's going to force the glue to the bottom. So all you got to worry about is just to put it up here as close as you can to the tip. But remember not to obviously uh, get it on the tip. And then obviously we already test fit this. We're happy with the length. We're happy with how it fits. So the next thing to do is really as simple as that. While you're putting this on, turn it. So turning it and then just give it a few more turns while it's there. So the reason why you're turning it, you're just making sure that the glue is getting all around that. And if you can see, if you do it right, you can see you get a little bit of glue that comes out. What you can do at this point, if it bugs you, you can get a little, um, a little towel and just very quickly wash or not wash it off, but here, turn it 
and very quickly just get it uh, get it off so then what that's gonna allow you to do is to end up with the finished product like so so what this does this guarantees that we get no issues um, no air in the line no none of that now another thing I'd recommend is let let this sit typically within about 30 40 minutes you'll be able to handle it um, and start working with so from this point on you can really uh, wire this any way you want uh, you can put the check valve on this side you can put it on that side me personally I like putting the check valve on the intake side of the doser not that it really matters the, the check valve wouldn't care wouldn't perform any better just keep in mind of where you install the check valve and what I mean by that is how high in the line you install it because if you make uh, sorry if you disconnect from here down is not going to be under pressure so it's going to release all the liquid in there and vice versa if I release it from this side it's going to keep this side pressurized but it's going to release everything in the line from here if I disconnect it from there so just pay attention to that uh, just see if in your setup you're ever going to have to remove it or be removing it because that will determine where you're going to install this typically you want to get this as close um, to the the dosing liquid as you can so anytime you do make a disconnection you're only losing you know X amount of liquid and, and not as much as you know if you were to install it higher because then the whole part would siphon down um, so just keep that in mind. Now again, you don't need to um, set it up like this. You don't need to put the check valve here. You can make this a lot longer. For you guys that want to make a more intricate setup, you can put a 90 here. You can see there um, how I wire it up. But I don't know if you guys noticed, but as soon as you convert this to an RO line setup, your world literally opens. Like your options are, you can really do whatever you want. You can officially make uh, your dosing setups look really clean look really professional it's very straightforward from this point on you can do your own diy doser buy the bulkheads for the ro line put that in any container you want to quickly hook this up and you guys can see here this is a really airtight seal this is never going to leak again i probably wouldn't rec or, or sorry i wouldn't worry about putting glue on this side just because this is actually true true silicone and it's a lot smaller diameter so I honestly wouldn't be worried of it ever pulling air. So let me take you guys over to my tank and show you guys um, how I have it installed in mine. So here you guys can see my current setup. I do have the coral, uh, what is it, coral box doser. You can see I did the same uh, conversion to this. I glued it so that I'm able to install the check valve. Now these check valves here are the John Guest check valve, which are in my opinion, a lot better than the ones I just showed you earlier. But if you're on a budget, the other ones will work. These are about 10 bucks a pop. The other ones are a few bucks a pop. Um, but you can see here kind of how I have it installed. Um, also, if you guys want like some uh, line management, you guys can use these. It holds the zip ties in place. You can just see it all in all makes it look a lot cleaner. But then you can see here we go to a 90 to another 90. It really it's limitless. I mean, look at, you know, it, it's not as nice as I'd like it. Uh, you can see with the RO lines, it's a lot more accurate, and the lines are always prime. There's never, ever, 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 ever air in them. Um, at the beginning, you may get air, but once everything gets worked out after it running, it'll never get air unless you, you know, disconnect it or anything of that sort. Um, but what I meant, uh, this here are, I don't know if you guys can see, this here are the Red Sea containers. You can see I was able to buy the bulkheads for RO to accept the RO line in them. So it just makes the overall installation a, a lot, a lot, a lot easier. Um, you guys can see up here on my uh, display, I have these um, holders here and I'm able to dose all the chemicals here. And just to give you guys an idea, I did two 90s here, um, just to give me that, that back um, inside you uh, going back into the tank. So everyone, that's gonna conclude today's video here. Um, I think this is is gonna be a pretty useful video for a lot of you because uh, I know a lot of people out there have dosing pumps and even you guys that have those apexes GHLs, you think you're safe buying a super expensive dosing pump uh, but you don't know how many threads I read where everybody's complaining about them always picking up air um, so with this setup you're gonna have a no air performing uh, doser and um, it's gonna be a lot more reliable your fish are gonna love it more importantly your cores are gonna love it because it's gonna allow you to maintain consistent parameters so again I'm gonna have a link to everything down in the description below hopefully you guys got some great ideas checking out my tank and seeing how um, I run these uh, just to give you guys some some ideas but yeah if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please leave them down in the comment box below um, yeah guys thank you guys very much for watching as always guys happy reefing take care